everyone. Hope you're having a great day. Today is week eight for my 2017 Project Life album. And I'm kind of using kind of a, oh, I don't know, kind of a earthy tones with some pops of color. I really like how this earthy tone looks with some bold colors on top of it. So that's kind of what I was going for for this today. So you can see that flower here just has some really pretty bright pinks, yellows, and aquas and some other colors on it. And then I'm also using that white doily which I think looks pretty good um, with the contrast of that brown or the craft cardstock. This is a frame that I've had for quite some time and I thought it worked perfectly with this doily. So I'm adding that. I'm adding this Capture Life, which is just a stamp that I stamped out one of my friend's house. She has a lot of Ellie Edwards stamps, so I stamped that out in some pink ink. And then I'm using my week eight date range that I've printed out and I'm using that consistently throughout all of my pages this year. So I'm just going to glue that down and then I believe this title card is done. I may come back and add a little bit of sparkle with some sequence here in a little bit, but that's basically what the card looks like. So here I'm going to be working on this sunset photo. So I'm going to take a stamp here and just add it here on the bottom of the photo. And this is something that I stamped out and I just had it in my little embellishment container and I just fussy cut it out. And I'm going to add a little bit of a journaling strip to the bottom there and top it off. There's just a lot of darkness at the bottom and I didn't really like that and I thought it kind of took away from the picture. And so adding this word I think really kind of detracts from that darkness and kind of lightens it up a little bit. So here is a picture of my daughter's homework. Oh, and a picture of some food that I'm going to use as a template so I know how, what size I need for a 3 by 4 And that test she took, she got a perfect score on, so I was really proud of her. So I thought I would definitely take a photo of that because she's been trying really hard to get a, a perfect score on this math test. So I definitely wanted to capture that. Now that's just a goofy picture of me, and it marked when, oh, what was it? They realized... They found another planet kind of like the Earth or something like that. I think that's what was the what happened that week. Um, so I thought I'd get a goofy Snapchat photo of me as an astronaut. It's just goofy, but I thought it was appropriate and it worked well. So this little card here, I am taking a little photo of my daughter and her friend. They were waiting to rehearse for her, the play that they were going to be in. So I thought I would take one of these frames that would match the frame that was on the title card and adding that to this card here. And then I'm going to add that ticket that yellow or yellow pink ticket and then add some journaling to the bottom. So I'm just kind of playing with this until I get it to the way I like it and I thought that pink was kind of lonely there on the top left. So I'm going to add a little pink glittery heart in the bottom right just using my Stampin' Up! punch. So here's a picture of my daughter and her Girl Scout troop and of course I don't have permission to show all the little girls so I covered them up and that's why you see those post-its but basically they're just standing in front of their cookies and I'm going to add a couple little hearts here right above the journaling just to kind of t top it off and I don't know if I mentioned this in the last couple of videos but I am doing all of my journaling or most of my journaling with the typewriter or I'm actually using my uh, computer with a typewriter font and then trimming them out. I really kind of like how this looks. It is a little bit more work than just handwriting it but I kind of like the cleaner look that it gives. This is a picture of a friend of mine at the movie theater to see 50 shades of gray or it's the it was the sequel I can't remember 50 shades darker I think um, so now I'm just going to go back in and add a couple little embellishments to all of the different cards that I thought needed a little extra so I'm just going to go through my sequin stash most of these sequins are from Spiegel Mom Scraps so if you haven't checked them out definitely make sure you check out their uh, her website she has great sequin mixes and they're just so much fun and I highly recommend them they um, you get quite a bit for your money and they just have some really good um, combinations so you're not getting all just one color or anything like that you will get ones that have maybe some little flower sequins or star sequins or just the regular circle or the flat circle sequins and it kind of makes it fun to have the different textures and things of the sequins. So I'm just printing this card up a little bit more. I thought it could use a little extra something on the little flowers here on this die cut. So I'm just going to glue them on. I'm using my tweezers and my fine liner bottle and that fine liner bottle has scotch tacky glue in it and it flows really really nicely. Just make sure you're getting the one with the yellow tip. I think that works a lot better. The one with the blue tip has a much thinner gauge needle on it and it does not glue or flow out very well. So make sure you definitely get the yellow tip. I think it might be 20 gauge. Let me see I have it here. Um, no, 18 gauge. It's the 18 gauge needle with a yellow tip. That's the one you want to grab. And I think that would work better for the glossy accents too. My friend of mine had the blue tip one and she has glossy accents in it. It's a much thinner gauge and it does not come out well at all. You really have to squeeze. So definitely make sure you're getting that yellow top one. 
So I'm just going through these cards, adding a few more bits and pieces. I am liking this Stampin' Up! punch, and it's adding the perfect accent to some of these cards using those little hearts. And now I'm going to take another die cut, put it on top of this other 3x4 card, and it just tops off some of the journaling that I had. It's kind of a filler card or a journaling card only. Um, it's kind of nice to know that you don't always have to have all your cards with photos in it, even the ones that you have journaling for. So sometimes I don't necessarily have pictures for everything that I want to journal, but I want to make sure it's in my album. And it's been helping me. I've actually used a technique that um, uh, Amy Gretchen has used where you she writes in her traveler's notebook kind of a bulleted list of journaling bits and pieces. And that does, that sometimes doesn't always have a photo to go with it. And then she takes that traveler's notebook insert and puts it at the back of her project life um, album each year and I thought that was a wonderful idea so I totally stole her idea so make sure you check out Amy Gretchen's YouTube channel she has lots of great ideas if, especially if you like a more simple look on your scrapbook pages on your project life she has some really great pages and she has a lot of very good inspiration so that's kind of what I do. So I get a little bit more journaling than I do if I don't use that and then I've been able to add some things in that I don't necessarily have pictures for so it works out really well. So now I'm going to use this goofy picture of my kitty cat. He was totally climbing all over me. So I was making some crazy faces and I thought it would be cute in a little four square photo of him crawling all over me with his little butt in the air. So I just took some photos, some selfie photos of me sitting at my table. And I'm just going to put the cardstock at the bottom. It's just that more craft cardstock that has the gold hearts on the bottom. And then I'm taking this kind of top note die or this top note um, sticker that is from the Teresa Collins, um, I think, Studio Gold collection. And I'm just adding that in just to kind of anchor my embellishments that I want to put down here. That high is from Hetty Swap again, I believe, Studio Gold, I think. Yes. I think it was. Oh, I'm sorry. Teresa Collins was the top note, that white with the gold trim around it. And then the high is from Heidi Swap. That little yellow strip there, I think, is from an Amy Tan die cut pack. And then I'm just going to add some more sequins to bling it up a bit to make it look like the rest of the cards and kind of give a cohesive look to the page. And I think I have one more card, I think. And it's this picture of my little doggy. He was sleeping on my lap. He was being adorable. So I found this little quote in my stash that I wanted to add. So I'm just trimming it down because I didn't want it to cover too much of the page. It just had a lot of extra brown around it that I didn't want to have. So I'm going to add that on just a little glue and then using a Tim Holtz little mini paper clip. And then I'm just going to add that adhesive just to make sure it stays. So it says, whoever said you can't buy happiness forgot about little puppies. And he was my little puppy then. It was He was still a youngin. And then I just put who rescued who and then that heart little sticker. And I'm sorry I'm off screen a little bit. But that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the process. If you have any questions about anything I did today, make sure you leave those in the comments below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And if you liked the video, make sure you guys give me a thumbs up. And I will talk to you again very, very soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Bye.